Now for the first method, you want to head over to search again and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on power options. And then you should have an option that's called power saver. You want to click on that. And this will save your computer's battery life. If you don't see this, then you want to click on show additional plans. And then it should be showing right here. Now for the second method, you want to lower your screen brightness. So you should be having a button on your keyboard, a brightness button which will let you lower the brightness. If you do not have a button like that, then you want to head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to type in Twinkle Tray. Click on this. And then you want to click on Get. And then you want to install this. And now you want to head over to search and type in Twinkle Tray. Click on it. And then it should appear in your taskbar. If it's not on your taskbar, then you want to click on the arrow and it should appear over here. And then you can drag it right here. And then if you click on it, it will let you adjust the brightness. It's not going to show it in the YouTube video, but in real life, it's actually changing the brightness for me. Now for the third method, you want to head over to search again and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand batteries. And then you want to find your battery. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver. And then click on search responsive for drivers. Make sure they have the best drivers for device installed. Now for the next method, you want to head over to search again and type in settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this on the left hand side, you want to click on accessibility. And then you want to click on visual effects. You want to turn off all these visual effects. So turn off transparency, animation, and always show scroll bars. Now for the next method, you want to head over to search again and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now you want to check for updates. Make sure that your computer is fully up to date. Now once you complete this method, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed, you just probably want to replace your battery.